Hi everyone, this is the PLC Fiddle Motor Starter Service Stop Challenge Solution. And what we're doing is taking our solution from the last time we did our motor stop challenge um, and we're going to add to it. So previously what we did was after it turned this motor starter turned on for a thousand times it would set up a motor service starter alarm or light. Now what we want to do is actually um, stop the motor from turning on once the count gets uh, 1200 or more. So what we're going to do is use our compare instruction and we'll have a output called service now. So let's put a, co a coil here and we'll put service now. And what we have to do is look for our compare and we want it greater than or equal to um, the compare. So we'll take a look at our, our accumulated value for our motor starts and then we'll look at our constant. There's 1200. So if the motor starts equal or greater than 1200 our service now indication will light up. So what we can do is try that out and you'll see that if I look at my motor starts there's my present value and my accumulated value. So if I hit the start button it increments by one. Turn it off, hit stop, then it goes off so it keeps on going up. So let's change this and we'll go to our, uh, we'll say 999. And then we'll hit our start button. So what we're looking for is our motor service starter will then turn on. And sure enough, that's exactly what it did. So there's my motor service starter now working. And now what we're doing is we're going to try to look for up to 1200 and in our service now come on so let's look at um, that let's change this value now to 11.99 so then what we'll do is we will uh, turn this on now and sure enough the service now came on but we really want the motor to stop so what we have to do is we have to add another, one more contact. So let's just turn that off. So we have to make sure that when the motor service is light is on, then our motor is not turning on. So let's go to our contacts. We'll use our normal light closed or examine off. And we'll say our service nail contact. So now in my logic, you can see that if my service now is on, my motor is now off. Let's just test that out and we'll change this back to um, 1199. And you see my service now is off. My motor, my service now is off. You can see my motor can start again. So let's hit start. And sure enough, what happened was my service now, because it's 1200 or greater, my service now opens up, so my motor start stops it. And we'll stop that. And now we'll try to start the motor. But when we do, it won't get through the service now. So that must be um, turned off before we can actually start the motor once again. So all the links and documentation and further uh, compare challenges can be found in the links below. Um, you can also find um, all the links and documentation on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. 
and give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.